Good morning, everybody. Um, this video is not going to be a joyous and high energy video like a lot of my other videos are due to the fact that this is a video that is is delivering sad news, man. Um, a young man by the name by the name of Patrick Day, 27 years old, a professional boxer in the super welterweight division, has lost his life. He lost his life yesterday after succumbing to injuries that he sustained in the ring on a fight that he had Saturday night in my hometown of Chicago, Illinois, against a young man by the name of Charles Conwell. Um, Patrick Day died from traumatic from uh, suffering a traumatic brain injury from his fight against Charles Conwell. And this fight, he went down in the fourth, the eighth, and the tenth round. Uh, he went down in the tenth round after being knocked. He got knocked unconscious by a left hook, right? And on the way to the hospital, he was having seizures, right? And then I heard that his condition was getting worse and worse and worse after, trying, you know, following up on it. I'm hearing, like, he is in very, very bad condition. And, you know, I said a prayer for the young man and his family. Um, but ultimately, you know, unfortunately, he lost his life. Boxing, look, I love the sport of boxing. I love it. I'm super passionate about this sport. I've been watching this sport for a very long time. Um, but I know the, dang the dangers of this sport. I know the possibilities that what, what could happen in the ring. Uh, I heard about what happened with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. We just saw a young fighter by the name of Maxim Dedeshev lose his life some months early, some months earlier, some months ago. So boxing, it, it can be very dangerous, just like UFC, just like NASCAR driving and things like that. But um, you know, when I make these videos, man, about boxing, like these guys are warriors. I, call, I like to call professional fighters warriors because they're going into combat with another man as their, as their career field. That is their profession. They could be working in uh, whatever field, they whatever their passion is. They could be working wherever, but their passion was to be a fighter. And it's that takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, you've got to have something in you to be a fighter, right? And to, to die doing something you love, it's bittersweet, man. Nobody wants to lose their life. They just want to enjoy the sport that they that they're involved in, but you don't play boxing. You don't play. Um, you like we. You never know what punch could take you out, and it's so sad to see a young fighter man, a, a former Golden Glove winner, coming out of New York. Uh, what he has seventeen victories in his career, and he was he was in a title fight, man. Fighting in a title fight, man. Your dream. You fight in a title fight. And then it, ha it, it ends like that, man. My condolences to the young man's family, to his friends, to his loved ones. Um, and I'm going to definitely say another prayer for his family. This is never good news, man. This is never good news. Um, I had a lot of respect for these fighters, like I said, because they're going to combat with another man for their profession, their career field. Something that I know I couldn't do, but I love the sport. And, you know, these things can happen. These things can happen. And it's always sad when it does, because nobody wanna nobody wants to die in that ring. Nobody really wanna kill nobody in that ring. No matter what they tell you, what nobody says, nobody wanna kill another man. And my prayers go out to Charles Conwell, the guy that you know delivered the the devastating blows to him. He didn't want to kill that. Uh, he didn't want to kill Patrick Day. He was just doing what his profession called for to fight. He was fighting. That was his job to be a fighter to fight and to these guys are going in there they're trained to overcome another man they trained to deliver blows to another man and come out of the situation victorious with that being said man he didn't he couldn't have predicted this he didn't I, mean, I know he didn't want this but unfortunately it happened and you know sometimes you could say <coughs> excuse me sometimes you could say something like well, the fight, the fight could have been stopped earlier, um, this, that, and the third. But we can, you can never predict when a fight, like, it's, sometimes it's clear, like, oh, my God, this, stops, this fight needs to be stopped. But we've seen fighters get take shots, go down, and come back up. Like, it's nothing. Like, okay, I got dropped. Let me get back up. Everything going to be okay. Like, this fight, until that last knockout where I believe he hit his head on the canvas, like, you really didn't know what was going on until that, that last knockout. You really couldn't predict what was going to happen um patrick day after being in, his, in, in having seizures he lapsed into a coma and he never regained consciousness 
And um, again, my my please and my condolences to that brother's family, to his friends and his loved ones, man. Um, I don't know, man. This is a rough, it's a gritty sport. And, and sometimes the, the worst things that we can imagine can happen from it. I hope going forward that these things stop happening. I really, I really do. You know, even though fighters know the risks of the sport before they get into the ring. Just never want to see these things happen to anybody. Football is a sport where it's high collision and thing, negative things can happen from men colliding, you know, head on collisions and stuff like that. It's never good. But you don't, you you love the game. You play the game because you love it. You never want to kill another man or take another man from his family. That was That's never the intentions. Um, so it's just, it, it's super sad, man. It is super sad to be reporting this type of news, man. It, it, the boxing community is in shock. And um, it's just, it's just sad overall, man. I, I, man, none of these fighters ever want to be in. Nobody want to be a man taking another man's life. None of these guys want to lose their life in the ring. You know, Patrick Day's been described as a gentleman warrior, a warrior who's a gentleman, and he's loved. I, heard, you know, he's loved by a lot of people. A lot of people got a lot of respect for him. Chris Algieri. Um, former WBO junior welterweight champion. You know, he gave kind words about Patrick and the type of person that he is. And he was always the uh, consummate professional, uh, very disciplined, uh, very always smiling and everything like that. And it's like, man, young brother gone too, way too soon, way too soon. And I don't know, man. They, they might try to bring back headgear in the sport. I don't know. But I don't want this to be an end for boxing. But at all, because I love the sport, I really do. It's just sad when a young man has his life taken like this. And he, like again, we never can predict. We, you never can know what punch is going to do it. You never know how these things are going to happen. Sometimes a fighter can leave the fight and look like, okay, he's just a little buzzed. And later on, negative things happen. Um, so my condolences to his family. Like, like I, I keep saying it, but it's just like, it's such a sad thing. It's such a sad, some sad news, man. I was praying for the brother, and when it happened, it's just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You you always pray for the fighters. You never want them to succumb to these injuries. You never want them to be, to have their life, to have their life take you. But um, just, these things can happen, man. Um, You know, he passed away, was it, uh, Wednesday. He was surrounded by his family, friends, and um, the members of his boxing team. And uh, my condolences, like I said, my condolences to them. And um, give prayers. I'll give prayers to Charles Conwell as, as well, man. And um, I hope that the family doesn't. I know it's hard. I hope the family comes doesn't harbor um, negative feelings towards Charles Conwell. You know, they were just both engaging in combat. That's what they sport called for. Um, I know it'd be hard for some people not to have those feelings, but I hope not, man. I, I, the brother didn't try to do that. He didn't try to do that, man. He didn't try to do that. And um, it's just, it's sad, man. It is very sad. Um, my prayers to the Boston community. Uh, rest in peace to Patrick Day. You will be missed. Peace.